Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tech Team Portugal with my friend Shen. How's it going, Shen? Oh, it's going pretty well. We just finished up a war with France and Scandinavia. Do you like our new border with France? I I do. Are you are you are you like what are you doing? Are you, are you vacuuming? No, I'm. So, that's that's just the plumbing upstairs. Don't worry about it. It'll go away. I thought you moved. I did. There's I thought still... you moved and you got rid of the plumbing. <laughs> Outdoor plumbing only, right? The plumbing at the old place was a different apartment. It was the upstairs apartment plumbing. This time, it's just a bathroom that happens to be upstairs and a little bit off to the left. But it's still, you can still hear it. Oh, what, yeah. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to complain frequently. That's okay, complain then. All day. <laughs> oh, interesting. So we actually, you know what? Part of our math was off, Shen. We needed to actually have admin efficiency 3 before mm -hmm. we were at 85% reduced coin cost. Right now, we only have 65% reduced coin cost. Oh, well... That's so we paid a lot up. of extra admin points. We probably should have taken tech 27 before really starting to take land ourselves. But okay. whatever. Well, that's fine. We'll, we'll make sure we take tech 27 before we take any more land for ourselves. No problem. No okay. problem. Let's go. I'm going to cancel the core Paragord then. And we're just going to sit on it until we get... Sure. Yeah, 45, 45 points we get back. Indeed. Okay. So, yeah. W where are you paying attention to right now? Paying attention that Russia has no air. Hey, Russia. Do mm. you actually want to PU over him? That'd oh, man. I, I would wreck that. Oh, yeah. So we were talking you about which, which particular lands we need to take from the Ottomans, right? So we need to press north, I believe, to Crimea. Yeah. We need to take a couple provinces from Crimea so we can give our vassals a border with France. So, or not France with Russia. <laughs> with France. So we're ready to take some land from Russia when we declare on Russia. That's the plan, right? That's the plan. Holy crap. Yes. There's 30 rebels in Karelia. Ugh. Um, ah, okay. Oh, yeah. How do you like that? That one, two general right there. Fantastic. Mine. Stolen. No, he's not. Oh, you took him out. I, I had didn't him take on a him boat. out. I appointed him. I, I put him on a boat and you still got him out of the boat. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought once they're on a boat, you couldn't take him out. Apparently not. No, uh, naval areas are considered neutral, so you can unappoint. Mm. You can't you can't actually appoint, but you can unappoint. That doesn't make any sense. I know. He swims. He, he Whoa, just push a stack of 40 in uh, Tayyaman? Saudi Arabia, there's a stack of 40. What the hell? I didn't even know we are at war with Ajuran. Yeah, he was one of the Ottomans' allies, I guess. Yeah, he just routed one of our armies, but we'll... Oh, you know what? Send. Russia's at war with... Oh, yeah, the plumbing's off. Russia's at war with Crimea right now, so we may not even have to take that much. Oh, good, yeah. Especially if he just expands right up to the Ottomans, that'd be perfect for us. Mm -hmm. We were commenting between videos that we forgot to co-belligerent Crimea. Crimea, yeah. We didn't really think about the landscape when we declared the war. We, sure, we, certainly, was, did. we certainly didn't discuss it. I, I heard uh, I heard Shen, are you ready? And then here's the war pop-up. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's generally speaking all the discussion we've needed recently. So. True. But co-belligeranting France, I think, was a good idea in that last war. Made everything zero. Um, Crimea would have been the same idea, right? Just make the cost zero. Yeah, we would still negotiate with the Ottoman, but... Mm -hmm. The Ottoman? Yeah. The one. His name is Otto? Mm -hmm. He's a man. The man named Otto. <laughs> oh, hey, look. They're doing it again um, in Konya. Konya? What's 30, going on? Oh, I see it. Oh, they're going to win. They're going to win this time. They're going to well, win. Well, it depends. Will the ankle biters unite? We're getting attacked in Aleppo, by the way. No general. That's fine. We took the thing. Oh, you put a guy? I did. We both did the same thing. I, I put the best available general, and I didn't realize you had already put a better one there. But I got him back. Don't worry. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're still... Look at the morale difference. 7.6 Seven. to 4. <laughs> oh, our last 17 cab died. Oh, no. The emperor's dead. A new emperor. Jaime. Jaime Escalante has ascended the throne. Nice. Glorious. Jaime. <laughs> Same dynasty as Auto Eater, Peepus, and Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, you know how when, when you have more morale than the enemy, um, even if you have less morale, cr like currently, your max morale determines morale damage? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When you're, when you're fighting natives like this, 
and like you're so good at demoralizing them. I'm wondering like what is it that you're doing in battle that's so demoralizing? Are you like bringing puppies and kittens into the battlefield and like just murdering them right in front of them or something? Like how <laughs> how are we demoralizing them so much? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the morale difference is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. <laughs> it's <laughs> Oh, we actually lost the Siege of Ankara. That fell rather quickly. We can get oh. it back. You know why it fell quickly? It's a level one fort. A level one fort? <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> been a couple hundred years since we've seen those. <laughs> I feel like fort maintenance is too high as a cost. Mm -hmm. That's part of, a big part of the reason why I don't usually like to keep forts around. You're seriously they, attacking 42 versus 80? Yeah, of course. Okay. We have, we have double, like, double morale. Which is worth more than double strength. Is it? Basically. We just rolled a zero, but we're still going to win. Hmm. Okay. You, did, you didn't realize. I did not. France is no longer a valid rival. Well, poop. Well, think about it. Okay, so if I have twice as much morale as they do, I do twice as much morale damage, and I take twice as much morale before I will retreat. So therefore, mm -hmm. it's a double-double. So it's four times as much. It's an exponent. Double-double? Double-double. Double trouble. <laughs> but we have so much morale, we don't know what to do with it. Eventually, we're going to run out of kittens, I think. No. There's always kittens. For the slaughter. Cat murdering simulator 2015. They did have cat simulator, didn't they? Where your task was to knock shit off of shelves. I missed that one. I, I Wait, do we? are we really 10 years ahead on military tech with 971 points stored up? What the hell? <laughs> yes. Even though we're only generating six points a month, I don't know how this happened. Um, I'm just going to recruit some generals. Yeah, let's get some better generals. We have 50, <laughs> 52.6 army tradition right now. We've got our inspirational leaders policy. Yeah, one six. Not bad. Hey, I'm going to fire our... Uh, fire anything you want. You want to fire one of the, the policies, the colonial, the one that gives us an extra colonist? Yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, I think that colonization's kind of coming to us to an end. Yep. How many of those do we have anyway? How many policies did we take for colonizing? Just one? Two. Two? We had uh, the colonist, and it was the Colonial Settlement Act, and we had a colonial expansion. What is that? We, settler chance? Uh, no, global settler increase plus 20. Oh, wow. It, Pretty potent. It served us really well the last, like, 300 years that we've had it active. But, but there's um, nothing left to colonize. Literally nothing left, or like nothing left that you want to bother looking for? Nothing left where we're challenging anyone. Like, because if you use the uh, the ledger, you can still see there's like pages of colonies available. Yep, but it's all South America, North America stuff that we've already done. The Ottomans are attacking us, 100 versus 20. It's okay, the ankle biters will come, maybe. I suppose we'll retreat from this one. And then we'll re-engage with the 34. We'll show them who's boss. It was already on the way. <laughs> oh, you didn't retreat very far. No, I was expecting <laughs> only to be there in time. <laughs> Shen, I blame you. You did not retreat very far. Oh, he's got 43,000 infantry and only 6 artillery. Good balance. We've got 20,000 artillery and no infantry. It's okay as long as they're in the back row, they do full damage. <laughs> Some of them are in the front row. <laughs> Some. Those, those are the flanking cannons, Shen. <laughs> the flanking cannons. They're, they're different. <laughs> that, that would be hilarious. There actually were some of those. Oh my goodness. Flanking cannons. I like it. We're going to win oh, that battle. No, we got to retreat now. Okay. Hey, uh, we got to siege uh, more of Crimea, I think. I thought you wanted well, to back up so Russia will take some land. Yeah, that's okay. That's good, too. Let, let Russia do it. They can take that land off Crimea's hands. I was sieging, but then I figured let, let Russia do it. Okay, and we're, we're intentionally not coring. Mm-hmm. Right. Do we Just want, saying Do it? we want 1,600 free ducats, or do we want 10% more trade? How much do we make off trade? We make 263 ducats a month. Yeah, I'll take the 10%. Thanks. 
That's a lot of trade. Somehow we have negative manpower again, despite our 310,000 manpower pool. We'll be and, fine. And despite the... How many mercs do we have? A few. We have 84 mercenaries. I was going to say we have maybe like three, but 84 is a decent number. Oh, Russia's invading the Ottomans as well. It's that army yeah. in Adirn? I didn't even notice. Well, Crimea is allied to the Ottomans, so. Mm -hmm. wow, Looks these, like our... these forts are terrible. He's got level one forts everywhere. Our ankle biters are getting kind of a little bit depleted. They can't they can't go as long as we can. They don't have the stamina. Yeah, you know, the infinite manpower and money pools that we do. So, did you get any better generals? Oh, you've, you've just kept them. I got a 1-6. Oh, I didn't get any of them filter through. When you said you're going to get rid of some, I thought you meant you're going to get rid of some of the bad generals. Uh, get, get rid of this 1-2. The policies. Yeah, no, I'm at the policies. Get rid of a 0-3. Um, get rid of a 2-2. Two, two. All right, so we've got a 1-6, a 2-3, a 2 five. Let's get rid of the 2-3. Yeah. We'll roll for better. The 1-6 ain't bad. Well, at this point, fire value would definitely be desirable. 3-4, there's a good guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'd probably keep the 2-5 over the 1-6. Well, he's gotten an extra maneuver, though. You want to keep Dennis okay. or Teodosio? I can just keep them both. We'll be fine. I don't want to be over. Do you want to be over? Yeah. Screw it. Fine. Screw Shen. it. Screw it. Please, please, Paradox, give us an extra general slot per 100 force limit. <laughs> just just give us something. Some, some number. Greater than zero. You can have five million soldiers and two generals. <laughs> All the rest of them are just clones or something. Completely mindless zombies and they can't lead. Oh my god, that battle is disgusting. <laughs> and the Ottomans aren't arriving for another week. So the problem is that we are really running low on frontliners. We got quite a few cannons in the front row now. But a manpower spent on cannons versus a manpower spent on infantry is still one manpower. Should we go back to recruiting a bunch of mercs? Uh yeah, I was looking to do that a little bit. Okay. We can we can recruit them over here. We've won the battle anyway. We're good. Did you get the Ottomans capital? Um, nope, but our little ankle biters are there. 49%. Yep, there goes the capital. How do you feel about a little bit of Diplotech? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to spend any Diplo in this peace deal if we have to, if we don't have to. So what do we get anyway? New new ships. Okay. Yeah, we could upgrade the lights. Um, oh. I haven't paid any attention to transport or to, to trade and ships in a while. Are we protecting and collecting in the right place? I don't think so. I think we've been using our ships for combat. All of them? All of them. Let's see, we got 356 ships, trade on the water. Yeah, it's it's not doing anything, it's just sitting out here. Uh, let's have you protect trade where? What kind of trade percentage do we have right now in Genoa? 85? Were we ever collecting in the English Channel? Um, I don't know. I really don't remember what we were doing with trade. It's been a long time since we looked at it. We could collect in the English Channel. Would that diminish our collection in Genoa? Yeah. I think in this campaign, we've pretty much only collected 
in our one node. It's a good node. And I think for the most, yeah, it's the best node, but... Um, do we still not have Florence? Oh my god. How how do we not have Florence, Arumba? Why are we so bad? I don't know. I don't know. I blame you. Okay, I'm not paying attention to the Ottoman War anymore, by the way. Alright, I'll do the Ottoman War. I got some troops up ready for the Russia War, by the way. Up in uh, AI Smirt. Yeah, I just saw the... Uh, I was looking at the fleets and I saw that army. You got 11 extra transports here, and then 6 up way the hell up there. Oh man, you still, we still have a 10 stack in Iceland. What? Yeah. Why? I don't know. What the... What are they doing there? <laughs> I, I don't know. Get it. It don't make no sense, Rumba. Don't make no sense. Uh, our trade fleet just found the Ottoman fleet, and it's killing it very quickly. There goes the 10 Ottoman heavies. Are we going to lose some trade ships? I doubt it. No, we stole we, a heavy. We, we gained <laughs> ships. Can we join your side? Uh, sure. And we picked up five transports. Oh, my music's off. I was wondering why it's so quiet when you don't talk. Uh, it's because you're used to having weird sounds on in the background. Oh, yeah. Plum plumbing and stuff. <laughs> hey, is that idea time? Uh, no, we're not doing ideas. We're doing, oh, we're doing tech. admin tech. Right. Yeah. But mercenary maintenance. Don't oh, you it's save so good. Some money? We, we need the money. Save some money. Um, okay. Yeah, I know. That was weird. The game lags so much when you try to open up the trade interface right now. Oh, I, that's I what it was. <laughs> like, what the yeah. hell? I'm trying to move armies around. The game's like, nah. So, how goes the war? Ah, fine. We're circling some armies. We're going to squish some stuff soon. The Ottomans are trying to siege forts down with one soldier. Doesn't work. I'm not sure if you want to, you know, give them a clue on how to actually do battle. I don't want to help them. Yeah, I'm okay with them being stupid. City demands to be joined to Parliament. Oh, right, the French lands need to be in Parliament. I <laughs> forgot about that. Why are you trying to improve relations with our rival? Oh, because I want his babies. He's got no way. Oh, he has a baby now. Damn it. He's our rival. He'll never accept royal marriage. Are you fabricating on France? No. <laughs> no. Maybe. How did you... You lose in battles, Chen. Eh, don't worry about it. You let the Ottomans win a fight? You can't let them have that kind of... That... Hopefulness? It's just mean. It's cruel. It'll be fine, okay? Okay. Okay. So, you think Crimea's gonna peace out with Russia soon? You know, I don't know. What's their war score? It's like 45. Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll go for like 90. You know Russia. Well, to do that, he's gonna have to siege down a lot of the... Oh god, uh, that was a crush. You'll have to siege down a ton of Ottomans' territory to get that much war score. He'll probably just get the, no, the Ottomans will peace out because their capital fell to us. Right? Yeah. Uh, how much... How, how is the progress going on... On that Suez war? Suez and Panama. Oh, good question. Suez is at... Let's see, three years away. How Panama you should that? be back. Oh, if you go down to Damietta, you can mouse over the little construction icon. Oh, right, because it's an actual building. Mm-hmm. Even though you don't get any kind of interesting pop-up or anything about it. That's a little bit interesting. No, it's not. It just ends. <laughs> it just it just it just stops and you realize it's like not oh interesting. Hmm. Were you a grumpy man in your other life? In your previous life? Probably, yeah. Assuming I was a man. You never know, I could have been a Martian. No. 
it's a bit presumptuous to assume that that if you if you believe in the afterlife and reincarnation, it's maybe a bit presumptuous to believe you're always going to be on the same planet. What if there's other planets? What if your soul could be in a different species on another planet? Hmm? What then, Jen? Hmm? Have you been smoking the ganja? No. Have you? <laughs> we could take ganja in the next war. Oh, you mean actual ganja, not smoke ganja? Yeah, there's a province in Tabaristan called ganja. All right, fine. Hey, are we just going to leave Urgel, Aragon, like there forever? Um, No, but remember, we need admin tech. Admin tech, remember? Admin tech. Are we going to fabricate on them? Let's fabricate on them. I just started it, yeah. Okay. But that means we have no, no diplomats available. We don't need them. We're at war. It is nice when you're at war. We're almost done converting. There's like 15 provinces left. Sweet. And they only take a year to finish. So in seven more years, we can do admin tech. Mm -hmm. And in seven years, seven years times 11 points per month times uh, 12 months per year, we're going to gain 924 admin points. So we're going to hit the admin point cap before the next time we can tech admin for free. Are you saying that we should we can take we can do them early or should we start coring stuff? We could we could do a military like sorry a uh, an idea right now, and we'll still hit the cap before. Oh, so we might as well. Done. Yay! Our mercs are cheaper. Because <laughs> yeah, because we need more money. Twelve k again. You remember when buildings cost monarch points? How crappy was that? Pretty crappy. I hated that so much. I thought you liked the flexibility of the Monarch point system. I don't. No. I don't. Paper mana, bird mana, sword mana. It's all good. No, it's not. All right. Well, the robot thing made that noise thing that it makes. Did you... Uh... I heard it, um, but you brought us in, so... Oh. Well, I'm used to stealing it, so... I'll steal it then. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shen. He's been Arumbo. We'll see you guys next time. We'll finish up this war with the Ottomans. And Crimea, hopefully Russia will take some of this land from Crimea so we don't have to spend any diplo points over there. But whatever, it doesn't matter. The next war is going to be against Russia. We'll see you guys next time where we feed our vassals. Have a good day. See you soon.